Hi, I am Majle Parte, Software Marketing for Lattice Semiconductor. Welcome to this quick Lattice Diamond Licensing Overview. If you do not have Diamond Tool installed yet, please refer to the Lattice Diamond webpage for the executable files or watch the Lattice Diamond Installation Overview. There are two types of licenses, free and subscription. The free license enables users to design and evaluate the performance of non sirdis based diamond-supported devices. There are two ways to obtain your free license. First, from Products tab, click Lattice Diamond under Software Tools. Jump into Licensing. Click Request a Free License under Diamond Software Free License. The only required information is your MAC address. The instruction on how to get the MAC address or NIC ID is also shown here. You can find your PC Network Interface Card ID by opening an MS-DOS window, typing ipconfig slash all, and then press enter. Since I am connected to Wi-Fi, this is my physical address. The 12-digit hexadecimal value split into pairs with dashes. I am going to copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then pasting to the NIC field in the licensing form. I verify that I am not an employee of Cadence Design Systems, Mentor Graphics Corporation, or Magma Design Automation. Right now, I do not need additional crosslink IP, so I will skip that. I am now ready to generate license. Now, the second option to obtain the free license is to click the Support tab from the home page and select Licensing from the left navigation. Under the Lattice Diamond Design software, click Request a free license. And then the same procedure to follow as the first option after you click the link to request the free license. Now check if you receive the license in your mailbox by searching for an email from weblicense at ladisemi.com with your license file attached. Download and save the file in the license directory of your Lattice Diamond software installation. The installation path in my computer is lscc slash diamond slash the version of the diamond that you installed slash license and then check to see if the environment variable is updated. To do that, you need to go to the control panel, click system and security and then go to system and then click advanced system settings. A pop-up will appear where you will check the environment variables. Click environment variables right here at the bottom right. In the system variables, you should see lm underscore license underscore file with the values of your license path. Click that and select edit. Verify that the path is correct. Click OK when you are sure that the correct license path is included in the environment variable. Open the Diamond software to check out your license. Alright, there you have it. We have successfully installed the license and opened Diamond. If a user wants to design and optimize solutions for all Diamond-supported devices without resorting to workarounds, then an annual subscription is needed. You can buy the subscription license through our Lattice store or by purchasing it from your local sales representative or distributor. Once the ordering process is done, an email will be sent to you with a serial number and instruction on how to obtain your full license. This is how the email looks like. You have your serial number here. And then let's check if I have the following requirements to request a license. 
aladisemi.com account. Yes, we, have, we use that when we request it for a free license. The above serial number, yes. And then, Nick of the computer. We already determined that earlier. We do not have a flex ID since we selected node locked in the installation process. All right, let's go to the licensing page. I will click the link in the email here. It is redirected to the licensing page. As you can see, there are shortcuts as to what type of license you need. We will select Lattice Diamond Design Software. Then, Lattice Diamond Subscription License. This is the Diamond Subscription Licensing page where you can manage your licenses. Click New License. Enter serial number and verify by clicking check SN. Then enter your NIC or your MAC address. Once you are ready, click save. Wait for the license to be sent to the registered email address. Save that license in the installation directory, same as what we did in the free license. Let's give it a different name, say license underscore full dot dot and before updating the lm underscore license underscore file let's test to see what devices we can select using diamond free license as you can see in the ecp family ecp3 and ecp5 um are missing now let's test the full license that we obtained let's close the diamond tool for now I am now adding the license path for the subscription license in the environment variable. At this point, we can now open the diamond tool and the recent project that we used earlier. Change the device and see if you can now select ECP3 or ECP5UM. There! Having the full license enables you to select all Lattice FPGA devices. That's it for the Diamond Licensing Overview. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.